Hey, this is Jesse with Anchorage Bed Bug Heaters. Just doing a little bit of an FAQ here. Uh, we had previously, at the end of our last instructional video, gotten the whole system set up. Uh, we kicked on the heaters, the fans, everything. We let it run for about 20 minutes and we've come back to check on the system. Uh, we found that we had tripped a breaker. This is going to be pretty common, so I want to show you what to do if this happens. So, if we look down here at our, our heater here in the living room, we see that we've got two extension cords with the lights still on. Down here, we've got two extension cords with the lights off. If we trace these cords back, we go back into this wall here along the side of the living room. If we trace this other one back, this is going to go back into our bedroom here on the front side of the apartment building. So, if I then go over to the uh, breaker panel and come and I'll show you what this looks like. So here I've got our breaker panel. I can see that I've got a breaker that's tripped. You see that red? That basically means that this breaker is has had too much of a load on it and it switched itself off. So what I'm going to do actually to reset it is I'm just going to click this whole thing over and then I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, so now it's back on. Actually, you can hear my fan kick back on. Let's turn it off for now. What I'm going to need to do is figure out, so this is 135, 135, northeast bedroom. Apparently, northeast bedroom also includes living room outlets. So I'm going to need to figure out how to get one of the outlets uh, from a different one of these uh, breakers instead of having two heater uh, 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 extension cords plugged into one outlet. I got to figure out a new outlet to plug one of these into. Okay, so let's go back to the heater here for a sec. shut it off for now. So what we've got, both of these are running off of the same breaker. We just need to find a different breaker to run these off of. Now, if you remember, we had an additional breaker that we didn't use running off of our main box when we first set it up. We actually had one of those cords running under the sink, so I can show you that was uh, there's generally an extra breaker under the sink. So let's plug it into the box's extra breaker that isn't being used, and we should be good to go. So, I'm going to take this, unplug it from the wall, carry it across. And get it plugged in. Okay, so now I'm going to have all of the breakers up and running uh, on that heater again. I'm going to get them all switched back on, give it another 20 minutes or so to run, and then come back and check, make sure everything's still on. Okay, we'll catch you in the next FAQ.